Hey, today I'm going to show you how to create a path between various nulls in After Effects. To start, we're going to create a shape layer as well as a couple of nulls. We're going to rename the shape layer to My Path and the nulls to P1 and P2 respectively. I'm going to change the color of these two nulls to purple and green so it's easier to see on the screen what's going on. Next. I'm going to add path and stroke to my path and then I'm going to edit the expression of the path pasting a little code snippet I wrote before but don't worry I'm gonna explain exactly what happens here. First we're going to create this variable called offset containing of the width and the height of the screen divided by 2. Then from this comp I'm gonna grab the layer p1 convert it to screen space using 2comp and ensure that it's a two-dimensional vector using the slice function. And finally subtract the offset and store the result in P1. Then we're doing the same for P2. Both of them are going to end up in this array called PS. And then we're going to call the function create path passing those two points as well as in and out tangents which currently are just empty arrays. Lastly the is closed is set to false. I'm gonna go ahead and bump the width of this stroke so it's a little bit easier to see. And just like that, we now have a path that is created between the nulls P1 and P2. Okay, that's cool, but what if we wanted to make this line a little bit smoother? To do that, I'm going to create another two null objects, call them T1 and T2 for the tangent of the first point and tangent of the second point, respectively. I will also color them adequately, so it's easier to see on the screen. Now, going back to this expression, I'm going to add a couple of lines here. Essentially, what we're doing here is the same for T1 and T2 as we did for P1 and P2. Except that, we're going to subtract P1 and P2 from their corresponding tangents. Now, since our path is going from P1 to P2, the T2 is going to end up as in-tangents and T1 is going to end in out-tangents, while the remaining tangents I'm just setting to an empty two-dimensional vector. And just like so, now the T1 and T2 are used as tangents for the P1 and P2 respectively. The only problem now is that the points and the tangents are not linked together, so moving one will not move the other. To fix that we can parent T1 to P1 and T2 to P2. And just like expected we can still move the tangents independently, but moving any of the points will move their corresponding tangent as well. Now obviously we can animate any of these nulls, and what's nice about it is that the path itself will recalculate and adjust according to wherever we put any of these nulls in the screen. And just like so, the path gets recalculated using the expression we created, using P1 and P2 as the vertices, and T1 and T2 as the tangents. You may ask yourself, why don't we just create the path using the pen tool? This way we can still edit and animate the control points as well as their tangents. And while this is true, what I found is that you cannot assign any of these control points to a null. If you try to parent the shape to a null, the entire shape is going to be moved, not the individual points. I find this method particularly useful when the nulls are not created by me. So for instance, when I generate maps using Google Earth, I get the map and the corresponding nulls already created for me. So what I needed to do is to create a line that will respect the positions of these nulls in relation to the camera. And so using this method I can use the nulls provided to me by Google Earth and simply create a line in between these nulls instead of having to animate these positions manually. And that's it. Possibly there is a easier and quicker way to do this, but I couldn't find any information on creating paths between nulls, so I derived this simple equation to achieve the same effect. If you'd know of any method to parent a control point of a path created using the pen tool to a null, then please let me know so I won't have to use this slightly manual method to achieve the same effect. 
but if indeed this is the only way then yeah i hope you find this tutorial useful that's all from me today okay thanks